Hello, I'm Quentin Ham, technical trialist for Syngenta. We're in a field of oilseed rape in South Oxfordshire, looking at an oilseed rape foma trial. We're now starting to see the impact of the autumn foma infection with classic stem canker symptoms. As you can see, we have the black speckled blemishes on the outside of the stem. And then when we split it open, you can see that the stem is completely broken down. This has led to classic premature senescence symptoms of a smaller, thinner stem, less branches and smaller pods. So, when we look at an uninfected stem, you can clearly see it has remained greener for far longer, has a thicker stem, far more branches, leading to more pods, which will ultimately give us a higher yield. You also won't have the problem of the spores from the infected stems being mixed up in the trash and infecting next year's crop. Last autumn's warm, wet weather with regular rainfall caused a continuous release of spores, which resulted in repeated infection events. Furthermore, infection came in early when plants were small. Coupled with the warmer weather, the impact of this is that the infection takes far less time to move through the PTO and into the stem. What do we need to consider for FOMA control? Variety resistance, sowing date, size of the plant, weather, and the appearance of FOMA lesions on the leaf. So, what does this mean for this autumn's oilseed rape crop? Well, we are going to see high levels of canker return within trash, which will increase the risk of infection. The greatest yield loss comes from early infection, therefore it is vital to regularly, regularly monitor crops and treat with plover as soon as the thresholds are reached. 